Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Prasant over at Kia of Columbia. Once again, getting you some information on the 2022 Kia Telluride SX Prestige Nightfall in black copper with Dune Brown. Yet another combination that we have yet to see. We have checked out the ebony black with Dune Brown, but this is a black copper with Dune Brown. So, um, I actually recorded another black copper earlier today on an S trim in the sunlight. I have purposely put this Telluride um, on the shade of this vehicle. It may start to pop out on the nose here closer to the end, but I wanted to show you guys what this vehicle looks like at nighttime because the Kia website actually makes this look kind of brown and it's it's simply not even if you polished this it would still be black until the light hits that copper flake just perfectly to make it pop out so let's go ahead and dig on in though up front on the sx you're going to get your amber daytime running lights for your leds with the premium projector beam headlights for that led front parking sensors nightfall black and everything out except our kia emblem uh new brand big statement we've got a whole new lineup of cars is why we did that so get 20 inch bezeled wheels on here turn indicators on your blacked out mirrors which also have cameras on them on this particular model you can have blind spot monitors on there keyless entry on the front two doors dual sunroofs up above you've got the darkened trim around the window blacked out body side molding blacked out roof rails blacked out door handles black 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 but we can see black copper is black it is definitely black with some copper properly named <laughs> uh, back here we've got some LED tail lights, rear parking sensors, backup camera, blacked out all-wheel drive and tell you ride badging, a power lift gate with smart lift gate feature that I'll be doing a demo of for you later on. Down below this vehicle also comes with the tow package. It's a two-inch receiver with a seven-pin connection along with some self-leveling rear suspension. Privacy glass on your rear windows here along with the heated back glass rear wiper and sprayer on the lift gate there beautiful looking ride this comes with remote start too on the key fob of course you also can remote start this vehicle from your phone we'll dig into that in a little bit front camera also included up here along with your led fog lights that come standard on the sx package let's go ahead and dig on you hit dig on in here and Real quick, here is the window sticker for you guys. 51305 as equipped for this particular SX Telluride. Inside here, you can see we've got the dune brown interior. We also just tinted the front two windows to match the rear. This is for a local client of mine, actually. So everybody give a big shout out and congrats to Angie. Dune Brown is a nice milk chocolate matching the wood grain that comes on the EX and SX. You've got Harman Kardon audio on board right here. Some nice storage in the doors here as well. You've got a 12-way adjustable driver seat here. You can see the nice scaled stitching with the Napa leather that you get with the Prestige package here. Dune Brown is exclusive to the Prestige. Now, hopping on in here, to the left, we've got our dash illumination controls, blind spot monitors, lane keep assistance, traction control, and your power lift gate button right here. And now that we're over here, it's a little bit quieter. We've got memory seating for two right here, power locks, windows, and mirrors. All four windows are automatic. You've got a nice combo window child lock right here, and the mirrors also power fold. Now they can do that automatically using your key fob for locking and unlocking as well as proximity approach. Steering wheel on here is going to be leather wrapped. Needs to be manually unlocked right here. Can tilt and telescope. So you can put that wherever it needs to be. The steering wheel is heated on this model. Basically you need EX all wheel drive and above to get a heated steering wheel. So that makes that nice and easy. Mounted on our steering wheel, we've got some controls for entertainment and driving and information. 
On the left hand side, we've got voice recognition. The mode button, when you press this, will bring up this selection on the drive display, uh, allowing you to choose which media formats you're actually cycling through on your steering wheel to help save you some time. You've got the volume control here, as well as tracks and presets. You can see that's treaded, so you can just feel for it, just like this button over here. You've got some Bluetooth controls as well. On the right-hand side for driving and information, there's a little bit more to go over. We've got cruise control right here. This is a smart cruise vehicle, so you can choose four different following distances. And then here is your driving and information portion for your drive display. The SX gets this nice, large, colorized drive display right here. So um, this first screen for this information screen can show you fuel economy, your accumulation, basically, uh, fuel economy in a few different ways, depending on how you want to see it. The accumulation is based off of the last oil change. Drive info is usually last refuel or last restart. So an example, this video has been going for six minutes. The Telluride's been on for six minutes. It's pretty accurate. You've got a digital speedometer. Um, take note for the uh, digital speedo, you also have the heads up display on here. I am filming in wide angle so you can see tiny little zero right there but there's tons more information that can be on here you can actually uh, increase the size of that text it's way larger than what it looks like from your perspective in this video I don't know maybe someone's gonna find a way to be able to film that one day but um, it looks really nice there's tons of great info on there we'll go over that in just a second you've also got your different drive modes right now it's saying smart comfort so based on my pedal usage it's uh, keeping it in comfort mode right now but what does that mean? Down here, we've got this drive dial. Um, you've got smart, sport, comfort, eco, and snow. Smart mode is going to change through the ladder for you automatically based on how you're driving. So if you're just putting around town, eco mode. If you're making a pass on the highway, sport mode. That's going to change steering feel, whether it's soft or tight, shift points, engine performance, um, you know, as far as the timing goes, um, a lot of different things. So I would like to use smart mode in my own Telluride all the time. Moving over, you've got your navigation screen. This will show you turn by turn information or your current direction, depending on if you're navigating or not. Then the safety and convenience screen at the top, we've got our lane keep assist screen, which will show you when the lines on the road are registered. If your cruise control is turned on, you see that tell your ride backs up. Then we'll also show you when a vehicle in front of you is registered when you're cruising. You can see the digital readout for cruise pops up there too. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Moving down, we've got our driver attention system, paying attention to how you're driving. So, um, you know, just in case if the Telluride notices you're veering all over the place, following too closely, accelerating and braking very hard, it's gonna recommend that maybe it's time to pull over and, you know, double check you before something worse happens. So lots of safety features for fatigue uh, mitigation. And moving down here, we've got the all-wheel drive screen showing you power output to all four wheels. This can also show you the steering angle. So this is great to use off-road, um, you know. Uh, it also, I like to use it when it's snowy or crappy out. It helps build my confidence in showing me what the vehicle is doing in real time. So moving down, you've got onboard tire pressure too. Uh, this vehicle, I don't think, has been through service just yet since the pressure is a little high, but that's okay. We can always get that adjusted. So you can see that on screen right here, which is nice. Um, other things you can see on screen real quick is your drive selection, fuel range, cruising speed, moves up here on this screen, ambient temperature, some safety features will pop up down here, drives, oh, drive selection <laughs> and your odometer. Sorry, I forget sometimes that I have a, another set of eyes looking with me. Uh, moving into the settings, there's a lot you can do on here with an SX. So the heads up display, we're going to go ahead and turn everything on for Angie here. So we're going to help her out content selection. You can see we've got a lot we can check out, including blind spot info. That's good to go. You can change size and color. We're gonna go back to our assistances. These are all already turned on, so we know that, that's great. Um, you can make these things fully assist or just beep at you or fully turn it off. Some have buttons in the vehicle that I'll be pointing out to you too. 
the doors in here. We want to make sure we've got our smart lift gate on. I'm going to show you guys how that works. Lights, one touch turn signal. On an SX, you want to have this on seven. And I just put all the Tellurides on seven. Why is that? Because one thing I haven't showed you yet is when you use your blinker, if I nudge this, it's gonna blink seven times and keep your blind view monitor camera on for that amount of time too. Instead of having to turn this all the way on or whatever, you just nudge it. It gives you plenty of view. That's plenty of time, you know, a solid five seconds right there. So um, that's what I like to do. I have that on in both of my Kias. Sound, welcome sound, the cherry on top of all of the luxury when you get in and out of the Telluride. You'll hear it when we get out of this one. Convenience and service intervals, it's pretty standard. But uh, that's it for the drive display. Let's talk about the wands. Left hand wand, it's gonna control your headlights and your fog lights right here. If you flick this forward, the vehicle does have high beam assistance, okay? And then again, I showed you the blind view monitor system using those side cameras on the side mirrors there to get you that nice image. So <clears throat> there's more to come from that. You've got your right hand wand, which will give you your front and rear wipers. Notice the auto, the front wipers are rain sensing. So I can flick this down one and put it on auto. And you will notice that this won't move anymore unless there's some no uh, moisture on here. I will turn that back off in the meantime, just so we don't scare the detail guy, just in case he has this on for whatever reason. Anyways, it'll be on automatically sometimes. So um, if you are the kind of person that's gonna take this type of vehicle through a car wash, which I really hope you don't, know, make sure you turn this off. All right, anyways. So that's it for this area. Let's go ahead and look upward for a moment. Uh, the light is kind of low in here, but since we do have the uh, Prestige package, this is a suede headliner right here is what it feels like. Alcantara is what some people like to call it too. Kia just calls it a premium headliner. It's very nice. Uh, I recommend that you have a brush for it so the pattern is all the same or if you just wipe your hand across it like I did just there, it'll make the pattern nice and smooth. So um, try to keep your fingers off there, but it's it's a very nice material. It's, it's very nice. Um, open sunroof right here. We've got a fixed piece of glass in the rear that has an automatic sunshade located just up here next to your sunroof controls, okay? So we've got moonroof, sunroof. Up here, we've also got our UVO link controls right here which will allow you to remote start your Telluride, lock it, um, tons more than that too. Since I rent out my Telluride, it allows me to see the location, set speed limits, um, all kinds of great stuff. So um, up here, LED lights, of course, and then nice little sunglass holder. And then we've got our auto dimming rear view mirror with some home link controls right there for the garage door and um, either your gate or maybe the bridge for your moat around your property. Down here is the 10.25 inch entertainment center, which comes with navigation. Here's the home screen, which will show you time, temperature, media, glimpse of the map, as well as your user profile to remember all of your settings. Swipe on over here, you've got your map, navigation, phone, phone projection, which is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, hardwire, connection required for this head unit, which is all Tellurides now. Voice memos, you can record on the fly. You can put the vehicle in a valet mode if you let somebody borrow this and you have your UVO services active. If the vehicle drives for more than a mile, it will let you know. You can also use the passenger talk feature with your family to communicate a little more effectively by using the interior speaker system. The Harman Kardon audio system has 12 speakers, so you can definitely hear each other clearly in here. You can uh, either hit the end button here or end phone call for the driver. You can see you can also run two apps at once on here. You've also got quiet mode, which moves everything up front and turns it down to seven. Then you've got your rear climate. You can bring that on here. Currently it is on. I've got it synced up to 72 degrees with some auto dehumidification and defog features in action. We've also got HD radio data. Really don't need to worry about that. That's traffic, weather, travel info. Radio settings. You need to go into the settings of your SX. Let's go to the vehicle first. 
we're going to play with the lights. I'm gonna turn the headlights all the way on so we can trick the vehicle into thinking it is definitely nighttime. Ambient lighting, we are going to select. We are going to go to brightness. We are going to make sure it's jacked up. Yes, it is. I've been in this vehicle already. How do I know? <laughs> We're going to check out the colors. Um, and what am I talking about, by the way? This vehicle has ambient lighting. See that nice red strip there on the front of the dash, as well as on all four doors. We've got it set to a custom color right now, but you can actually set this. Here we go. Perfect angle. Thank you. Good job, Matt. You're the man. All right. We can set it to any of the preset angles or preset colors right here. If you want, just for a quick color change, and you can see that changes very quickly. Um, or we can go to custom color and we can choose any color on the wheel. We can preview it real quick. Sorry, that is not a good angle. You suck, Matt. All right, anyways, but you can choose any color in real time. So if we like the yellow, check it out. Awesome, okay. Maybe I want that to be just a little more uh, green. Okay, awesome. It's gonna green it up for you. So you can leave that in there. And this is not the interior lighting kit. Let me specify, folks. That is a different accessory. That will give you a button right here that you can press that will change the color of the cup holders and the front floorboards. This is a standard feature on the SX. Just so you guys know, I get asked that question a lot, so hopefully it helps you too. Um, moving back here, that's good in the lights. We've got that, we've checked that out. Let's also go over to our sound. We've got Harman Kardon audio. So Quantum Logic Surround should be on as well as Bass Boost. If you turn this on, it sounds absolutely amazing. Love the sound system in here. Great job, guys. Um, so beyond that, that's all you really need to do in here. There's a lot more that you can do as far as customization, but those are the two tidbits I like to point out in the settings, okay? So moving down, we've got these nice large vents here, centrally located analog controls. Our climate area is here. We've already checked out our heated wheel. We've got heated and cooled seats up front and in the second row. Um, Try climate again. Down here is storage. We've got USBs. This one's for data and charging. This one's charging only. Nice 12 volt here. Wireless charging pad. That's what this is trying to point out to you right here. Then you can press this closed if you like. Shifter, let's go ahead and put this in reverse real quick and check out the camera system. Uh, the mirrors will tilt down automatically. If you don't want them to do that, put the selector for them in the center. But otherwise, you've got a nice 360 degree, 360 degree camera view with projected pathing all around. So um, as long as nothing is in between these lines, these are the true sides of your vehicle being represented. So as long as nothing goes within that path, you should not impact with anything theoretically. Need a closer look? Zoom in. Need a bigger picture? Make it so. Um, you can change the view over here. You'd be uh, using your tow package. You've got a nice center line right here. And then you can always check the rear wheels for whatever case too, making sure we're not too close to the curb. Let's go ahead and put it in drive too though. So we've got it in drive, front camera switching over now. Now I really don't wanna hold my foot on the brake the whole time. So I'm gonna turn on auto hold. And when I press this button, on this SX model, auto hold comes up on the drive display instead of the tachometer, like the rest of the vehicle, or Tellurides. So, um, turn that on. With that green, I can take my foot off the brake while I show off the camera system. So, uh, we've got the front camera right here. We've got the pathing switched to forward movement now instead. We have a nice global overhead view with tire, uh, tire pathing on here instead of the towing. And we can also, again, check our front wheels, checking out our steering angle. Maybe we wanna turn on the all wheel drive system right here too, for whatever reason. So there's a lot you can do with this camera system right here. So same zooming and uh, magnifying properties over there, okay? So we can also go home if we want to as well, um, which turned off the light on this camera view button. If I press this, 
turn it back on. The camera system will come back on when you're at speeds lower than five miles per hour. Okay, so pretty cool. We'll put that in park, auto hold, text turns white. I'm gonna take my foot off the brake. We're in the parking gear now, so no worries. Other than that, we've gone over the drive system. We've got our all wheel drive lock, dedicated snow mode included here. Um, the auto hold system works off of the electric parking brake. Okay, when you're ready to go, just put your foot on the throttle. You'll feel everything loosen up and you'll start to roll. Parking sensor controls, front and rear. Oh, by the way, parking sensor controls pop up here on the drive display before I forget. You've got your start stop technology too, which will turn the engine off when you come to a full stop. If your interior temperature can be maintained and the engine temperature can be maintained. So um, if you're in an extremely hot or cold area, this feature will not be utilized as much because the Telluride knows what it needs to do. So um, use it, let it save you some fuel. Center console, we've got an extra sunglass holder and a USB port that's very well lit in there. We've got a felt lined glove box that is lockable. And that's it for the front seating area, guys. We do have a nice set of visors in the same headliner material. Nice soft LED light. Got a clip here. These are also telescopic. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do now that we've got all that stuff turned on, we're gonna turn the vehicle off and listen to our welcome sound. Notice how I moved out a little bit. There was a smart recline feature in effect there too. So if the tiny wife is getting in or out after uh, the gigantic husband or vice versa, then you know it's not gonna be a problem and it'll move right back in unless you just press your button. Nice and easy, right? Back seats, we've got these folded down in a cargo mode already. But uh, before we hop in, we've got some nice sunshades on the rear windows, our heated and cooled seating controls here. Nice large handle. I love these because I don't have to touch the paint on my doors. And a lot of Kia handles are like this. It's nice and wide, giving you leverage. You don't have to touch your paint. The less you have to touch that, you know, the less scratches, the better. Some people appreciate that. Bottle holders down here. Let's go ahead and we actually need to move our driver's seat up just a little bit. Okay. And oops, I wish this weren't down. It's kind of hard to get up with one hand, but bear with me for just a moment, folks. We will get through this together. All right. Now that we've got this seat up right here, we can show it off. Same nice scaled stitching latch system. We have an adjustable armrest that ratchets into place for you. Back here on the rear seats, you get a grocery hook, USB port, a large cargo bag, and a smaller cargo net down there. Cup holders, power inverter, and a 12-volt outlet are included, along with uh, ventilation, which is also down below on all three rows for you, as well as your rear climate controls here too. Now, if you need to get into the third row, you can easily just press this button up here or this one down below if you're not so tall and you can get into the third row. Now, I'm gonna get all this stuff out of here and show you what this looks like back here, but I'm going to also point out real quick, we've got USBs and more storage and cup holders back here, along with more speakers. These are speakers. There's actually another subwoofer down there too. So nice sound and nice airflow and ventilation on all three rows. Then pull this back, to show you how to put this back into a cargo mode too. But first, a smart lift gate demo brought to you by Matt Croissant at Kia of Columbia. We're going to go ahead and lock our door real quick and I'm going to swipe out of a notification. And we're gonna walk away for a moment and everything's all right. And I've got my thumbs up right here to show you that I have nothing in my hands right now. Just you, me, my gimbal, and my right hand here. We can go like third person video game character. Um, anyways, I'm walking over to the hatch here. Basically, maybe I don't want to touch it. Maybe I've got my hands Full. Maybe I've got some gloves on. I can't get into the pocket. I don't want to touch around back there. It's got some ice hanging off. It's cold. No worries. We're just going to stand right here. See the LEDs. 
after those four beeps and chimes or flashes, the lift gate will open on its own. That is your smart lift gate feature. No kicks, no swipes, or anything necessary. So um, just in case you're on some uneven ground or anything like that, or it's slippery out, you don't have to kick, maybe possibly hurt your shin, you know? So it'll just open up. And then when you're done, when you're done, you got this big old button right here. So nice and easy. I'm just taking all of these uh, floor mats and accessories out. We've got a, the rubberized cargo tray, a set of all weather mats and carpeted floor mats right here. You can see we've got tons of cargo space here. But um, if we need to get the third row up, you can do it with one hand too. So again, thinking of uh, parents who only have one free hand, you can definitely do this all on your own if need be. Just pull right here and then just let your finger slip out. Okay? And then pull that up right there. And then you can see we've got three seats right here. Center seat belt is just tucked up into the ceiling right there. You can see we've got more vents. There are vents down below here too. Okay? And if we need more storage, no problem. Pull this board up, slide it in right here. This is a great place to tuck this rear cargo tray when it's folded up. Um, this box is just more towing stuff. You got a tongue in here, nice little uh, cap for the receiver too. So with that right there, roadside tools are here. Spare tires underneath the vehicle. Get your subwoofer for the Harman Kardon. Now, if we need to go back to cargo, no problem. Choke up on this, it's spring loaded. So uh, that one's gonna fly, this one just, needs a little bit of a gesture. And if we need this folded down, we've got the buttons right here. Just press that, and bam, we're back in cargo mode here. So you can see tons of space. This actually has the interior spacing of a Tahoe, just with a little bit of a smarter design and form factor. So we're gonna put all these back in here. We provide the all weather mats and this cargo tray with all of our new vehicles just so you guys know so if you want to work with us on one expect to see it sorry sorry i'm just trying to be careful here okay all right okay we'll talk about the rest of that in just a second though um, under this plastic is a nicer brushed aluminum finish that comes on the sx uh, same thing as the finish on the pedals too so we're gonna press that and we're all done there Last thing, we're going to go check out our passenger right here. Ears unfold. I press the button right here. It's going to be eight-way adjustable over here. We've got some extra storage on the side too. So that's going to wrap it up for this particular 2022 SX Prestige Nightfall Tell you ride in black copper with Doom Brown. Folks, make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, corrections, or if you'd like to congratulate Angie on her Telluride. She's been waiting for this one to come in for a little while now, and she's actually uh, one of our few local clients here that gets a chance to, uh, to work with us, but I appreciate being able to help all of you across the country. So with that being said, uh, the reason why these are so hard to get with us or anywhere is because we sell these for MSRP. Plus $400 for the mats you saw in the back and $349 for our administration fee. So to make it simple, MSRP plus $749. Guys, if you'd like some more information on getting your own Telluride from us over here in Columbia, Missouri, just give me a shout. I've got an information page put together for you that gives you a great description of the whole process. And uh, I would love to help you guys out. And hopefully you appreciated this video. Lastly, if you could, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles I'm uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. Thank you so much, guys. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia. Hope you're having an awesome day.